Hello, this is the Carmel River, and there are lots of creatures that live in and around the Carmel River. Every living thing needs water, and some of those creatures, like animals, need water to drink, and others need water to actually live in. And we're going to talk today about a special creature that lives in the water for part of its life. It's called a California toad. So the question we have today is what are toads doing during late summer heading into fall? Well, let's find out. During the fall, we have some beautiful colors and leaves start falling from the trees. The river is getting smaller because it has been a long time since it's rained, but there's still life in there. What do you think what kind of creature could come from the water, spend part of its life in the water, part of its life on land? It's a teeny tiny California toad oh, and he's a jumper because that's what they do. But he came from the water and he's not very old. He was a tadpole a little long I while ago. Water. And before that, he was an egg. So this is the time of year, fall, when they come out of the water, they're through with their tadpole face and then they have to hop away to find a safe place. In it's the summer, the male and female toad come to the river and find some quiet pools and lay their eggs. This is what they look like. The eggs that don't get eaten by some hungry creature hatch in a little while into a little teeny tiny tadpole. Looks kind of like a fish. The little tadpole eats lots of water plants called algae and other things in the river and they grow little teeny tiny legs as they get bigger. Then after a few weeks, the day comes that the tadpole turns into a little baby toad who can then come out of the water like this little baby here. Baby toads spend some time in the water, but the funny thing is when they're all grown up, they leave the water and they spend the rest of their life on land until it's time to lay eggs and start their life cycle all over again. Let's learn about the grown-up toads. Here's something funny. Adult toads walk probably more than they hop and they live on land, not in water. And when they need to have shelter from predators, they go down into a hole. What do you think toads sound like when they're talking to other toads? Let's find out. They don't say croak, 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 or ribbit, 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 do they? They have their own sound. Toads have an interesting way to keep from being eaten by other creatures, except for this garter snake. They are poisonous. The garter snake doesn't seem to mind, and this toad has puffed himself up as big as he can so that it's really hard for the garter snake to eat it. Just for fun, let's look at some relatives of the toad. This is a Pacific tree frog. He's bright green and has a stripe by his eye. And they spend a lot of time out of water also, and they can climb trees with their sticky feet. What does a Pacific tree frog sound like? And one last very special and larger frog that we have along the Carmel River is the red-legged frog. Let's see what it sounds like. Well, I'm glad you came along with us today to learn about some of our special creatures called amphibians that start their life in water and then can come onto land. And they go from an egg to a tadpole to a frog. So I hope you have a nice fall, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.